So today is all things chicken coop and chickens. Uh, well, not all things, but all things pertaining to what we've been doing up there for the past two weeks. I did an update on the gardening channel, um, just kind of a basic overview, but today I'm gonna to take you through exactly what we did, show you the footage of doing it. We've got some entertaining footage concerning the chickens. And then first of all, before we get started with the work, I wanna I want to talk to you about kind of what's co coming soon with this chicken coop. I expect this chicken coop to be completely done by spring. Um, I ordered the roof finally, the roof, the thatch roof, which is going to really just finish off the look of the English cottage. Um, that won't be here for six weeks though, six to eight weeks. I'm supposed to hear, hear from them any day now to find out an exact sh uh, delivery date. But as of right now, six to eight weeks out. So what that means is the stucco is the next big p part of the, the coop. And uh, I've never done it before, so I've been doing a lot of YouTube watching about uh, adding stucco. And so so we'll be able to get into that together. I've been dodging rainstorms, so I'm hoping the camera's not getting a little misty right now. But let's go up. I actually changed my mind also on what I'm going to cover the chimney with. It's so muddy out here. It's gonna be really interesting to see what kind of work I can get done this week. I'm supposed to have rain almost every single day. So my original idea for the chimney was to be um, a faux, rock work. So cobbly stone type of chimney. Um, also under this window here, same. And then along the base, we're going to, these blocks here that are holding up the structure uh, are going to be cemented in, first of all, encased in cement to, to strengthen them even more. And then on the bottom was going to be cobblestone as well. Well, I was looking through a lot of um, pictures of actual English cottages and uh, with thatch roofs. And a lot of them, almost all of them, had brickwork. So I've changed my mind, and all the places I just said that were gonna have rock work, including the chimney, are gonna be red brick, faux brick. So it's gonna be stamped concrete, which I'm gonna show you. I already ordered the stamp, so when that comes and when I get this going, I'll take you through every step of it here on the Homestead channel. So I'm gonna duck inside the coop because it is starting to rain a little bit more. And even though this isn't super waterproof yet, um, it's better than being out in the middle of the storm. Oh, except that big drop that just landed on my head. All right, it's just a little misty. So I'm gonna come out here in front of the first thing we're talking about, and that is I actually got the chicken run painted. And the first thing I painted was the actual wire all over it. The reason I paint the wire, I found this out on my last chicken coop at our old house, is if you paint the silver chicken wire black, it almost makes it disappear. And the best way to do that is just with any flat black paint. Um, and use a roller and not a spray gun. If you use a spray gun, you waste 95 to 99% of the paint. So just using a roller and some flat black paint, front and back, look at it, it almost, you can just see it almost disappearing like magic because the sunlight shines on that silver and really reflects back and it it catches your eye more than what's actually inside. I don't wanna see the wire, I wanna see the chickens. So uh, this will do the trick. So let's get a before shot of the chicken run before any of the painting was done on the wire and you can see how the sun is reflecting off of it. Now let's put up the after picture. Now in this after picture, you can see that the wire is almost gone, but it's actually a brighter sun. The sun was at a different angle, so it would have even been more shiny in if it was still silver. So I'm telling you, any animal enclosure you have with wire, paint it black, you're gonna be able to see your animals. But then it was time to put on the base coat. And I wanted the finished product to look like just aged wood. You know, it gets that grayish brown look to it. Uh, that's what I wanted it to look like, but I also wanted the protection of paint. So the first couple of coats was just a basic uh, gray with a, a slight brown tinge to it. So I just started with a lighter color first as the base coat and then here is the finish for the base. I decided to paint the back of the structure, the wood, black as well, same color as the wire. Uh, that's going to do a couple things. It's going to make the uh, 
background kind of disappear and there will be greenery behind it eventually. So it'll just kind of look like you'll just be seeing the greenery mainly. Uh, it also makes the co coupe look bigger because dark colors recede. And so painting that black pushes that background further back. The problem was the wire is stapled there on the inside of the wood, which is the side you see from this angle. And using a roller, I could not get the paint in between the wire to cover the wood well. So it was time to break out the spray gun, put the black paint in there a little bit diluted, and just take the easy route and spray all of those back boards that were facing front with the wire on them. Then it was time to make it look like aged wood. And so I took a darker grayish brown and I just lightly started to uh, paint little stripes kind of like wood has just lightly brush it on in thin lines. And then when the, when the brush is almost dry, just kind of use the whole brush to kind of fade it together, blend it together. Just lightly brushing on the darker gray on top of the lighter gray to create some texture. The thing is when I stood back though, and I looked at it, it had a very cool or cold feeling, almost like steel instead of wood, which is not what I wanted. So I took uh, some brown paint that I had left over from the patio cover and I diluted it way down, brushed it on, let it sit for a few seconds, and then with a soft old t-shirt, just wiped it off. And that left enough warmth on there uh, to make it look how I wanted it to look. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out and Having this painted meant it was finally time to bring the rooster and the hen up from the smaller coop where they've been since they were babies and introduce them to the rest of the flock. Now, the best way to do that is to do it at night once the flock has gone to sleep because the thing about chickens is they're not the brightest. And when they wake up and there's new chickens in there, they hardly notice. Otherwise, you're gonna have a a lot of pecking and bullying going on. So, and it actually worked to, to do it this way. So I'm gonna throw in some video here. Uh, of course, Emily filmed the whole thing. My sister, Michelle, and brother-in-law, Jeff, were over, and so they were recruited to uh, give us some assistance. You never know when you come to our house what you're gonna get roped into, but uh, I'll throw that video in right here. The hen was super easy. The rooster, a little more difficult. Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> okay, well, it's not being mean so far. Can you just hop over one? Yes, there. Wrong? I, mean, I could. There's sticks over here if I like. Poke at him? Poked be, like, behind it so that he got uncomfortable. Try the light over here. Oh, oh that's a stick. Okay. Do you want me to hold the flashlight or? No, I got it. Oh. I just don't want to. It's like, ooh, a massage. Like hit him or hurt him or anything. <laughs> oh, I don't oh. want to. Where's the box? Where's the box? Where's box the box? Box right here. Box here. Well, that was way easier than just I thought make sure. it would be. Move your tail, Tether. All right. <laughs> for being so nice. Oh my gosh, now I'm in here with him. <laughs> She's like, oh no, he's back. Okay. It's the next morning and I haven't heard any crowing yet this morning, which is kind of strange. Maybe he's just adjusting to being in a new place. Let's sneak up here and see if we can see what's going on. Hello. Oh, wait, where's the hen? Oh, that's right there. 
So I'm headed over to get the food because it's feeding time for the chicken. So this will be interesting how they all eat together. Pay no attention to the polar bear pants. So I'm going to grab the bucket of food from over here because the one up in the other coop is empty. All right, so we're going to feed them. And then later, I'm going to move them out into the run. So that'll be fun. I know, you just can't wait, can you? Same thing every day, I open it up, they try to get out for some reason, they always know I go inside to feed them. Come on, no, 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 come on. Back in. Hey, no, 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 look at this one. Please get back in. Just get back in. Thank you. Oh, here's the rooster. Are you going to attack me? Or are you going to be good? He is going to attack me. Arr. I'm not happy with you. Eat your food. You're missing out on the breakfast. So after feeding them, it was time to introduce everyone to their new run. I opened the door and after about 20 minutes, they started to venture out and check out their new digs. Okay. And they've been enjoying it out here now for a week and a half to two weeks. Hey! Hey! Do not like this rooster. He may not be long for this world. Or for at least this house. And uh, other than the rooster attacking me every time I go in, it's really nice to have this run out here because we can see the chickens and everything they're doing from our kitchen window. So it's nice to look out here and see some activity. So again, the next steps on the coop are gonna to be to get the stucco on all the walls and the faux brickwork everywhere it needs to be. And then I just cannot wait until the roofing material arrives. I mean, that is going to be the happiest day because I mean, I just can't, I can imagine it in my mind just what that's gonna to do to this structure, but imagining it and seeing it is, they're just two different things. And so, of course, I'll take you through the entire process with me. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe learned a few things, how to paint wire for one thing. It really will make a difference on any of your animal structures. So anyway, I will see you next time, guys.